The installation of the radar level sensor mounted on an integrated bracket with a UTM. This is an example of the final install. The first step to installing the RLS is to find the optimal location. You don't want to install it in a low area of a tank like a concave area like this. This is because water may pool under the RLS and affect the performance of the radar. You want to look for an area that is higher without the potential for pooling in a flat surface. You also want to ensure that there's nothing inside the tank below the RLS like a pipe. Last is don't want to install it on the edge of the tank as it can have interference with things on the outside or the cage of the tank. So you want to leave about six inches from the edges of the tank. Step number two is to ensure that the area is clean and dry as well as leveled. It must be within 1.5 degrees. A level may not be supplied. So you can use your phone. There's plenty of mobile apps with a, a level, a bubble on it, uh, similar to this one here. You want to ensure there is nothing behind your phone and that the cover is flat. Once you have the location selected, you want to ensure that you place the level on top of the RLS in the location and ensure that it stays leveled within 1.5 degrees. Now that we've ensured that the mounting area is leveled, we have to ensure that it's clear so that it adheres to the tank and bonds to the tank properly. So we're going to wipe that area uh, really clean and then make sure that it's fully dried before we apply the RLS. Step number three is to apply the RLS. So we peel back the adhesive tape. Very straightforward, but I'm having a little difficulty here, <laughs> but ensure that it's all off. You're then going to place it on top of the tank and you're going to push down firmly so that it uh, adheres to the tank and bonds correctly. Push down a minimum of 30 seconds to ensure good bonding. Depending on the installation, you may be asked to fill out the dimensions of the tank on your instructions. You then need to provide those to customer success. This is to ensure that the monitor is configured appropriately for this tank. Final step is to activate the monitor. You simply use this tool with a magnet on it. You then place it next to the LEDs on the UTM. You wait for the green blinking light. Once it's blinking, the magnet may be removed. In the event the integration bracket doesn't work, you can use the round top adapter or the uh, two inch NPT uh, that can mount on a two inch threaded uh, top. We can uh, show you two examples here. So typically the top round mount is used when you don't have a large a flat level surface or you don't have a lot of real estate to install the RLS. So this is an example here. Here is the two inch NPT on top of a cap that has a two inch NPT fitting. 